Hello Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, do keep in mind, this is a general reading for a large number of people. When I pray and prepare, I ask that each of you receives at least one message, but it's for a large number of people. We've got your situation, your recent past things have happened in the up to one to two months from now, your potential future outcome, if you take the angel's recommendations, which are down here below. So let's go on ahead. Okay. Your situation, you have emotion. Now, if you look at this card, she doesn't look very happy. She's guarded. She has her hands, which you should be able to see it. She has her hands up, totally blocked, guard. She looks quite sad, quite distraught. So your emotions are kind of like all over the place right now. Not at all balanced because you are going through some big changes right now, like a, a metamorphosis of sorts. And it's made you very emotional. For some, it could be a breakup could be moving but things are changing and you're very stressed about it so some of you you are so stressed like you're not taking care of yourself like her hair's like kind of all over so some of you it's like you're not even taking time to do your hair and get dolled up you're just like whatever I don't care I cannot deal with this right now so just feeling and looking a little disheveled but some of you you're not getting sleep you're not eating well you're just not doing these basic things to take care of yourself because you are in a bit of a rocky place emotionally right now but the thing is and the angels are going to they're saying they're going to talk a little bit more about it um when we change our perspective like the way we look at things we can change our emotions so if we're looking at say we're going going through a breakup instead of looking at the negative oh my gosh i'm so worried about this and this if we change our you know i'm worried about you know i love the street i live on i love where i live and I don't want to leave this spot. Instead, if we change our perspective of, oh wow, I get to, I get to decorate a new house. I get to meet new neighbors. It's a more positive, optimistic outlook. And then when we are looking at it positively, then our emotions will change. Instead of dreading it and having all these like fears and worries and things overcome us, we become excited, optimistic. We look forward to these things. And then when we change that perspective to something more positive, then we also impact the outcome positively because our thoughts are energy. They do create things. And not only do they affect our emotions, but they do affect the outcome of things. So you do have quite a bit of control with this. So you have, I was asking for some additional information on your situation. You have community, adjudication, and change. I don't know if you can see, I'm moving up, packing up all their belongings in the car now. So yeah, so for some of you, you are in fact going through a divorce, you're going through a breakup. You know, it doesn't have to be divorce, maybe it's somebody that you live with, going in separate directions, packing up, moving home. For others of you, this is about a relocation because adjudication doesn't have to, I mean, yes, it's got a couple here, like, you know, they're having the magistrate make a decision regarding the divorce, but it could in fact just be, you know, this is cards about decision, a decision being made that affects you. So it could be that, you know, you're making this decision to move it, for some of you so that you're not totally confused. But there are thousands of you that will end up watching this. For most of you, this is in fact about a breakup. For a smaller number of you, this is about moving, relocating, changing home. And for a very small number of you, this is about your child, things changing because your child is going to college and you're emotionally worried and upset about that. Um, a lot of the worries are stemming due to finances. Now, your most recent past, you've got this card, Surrender to Joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. So, what has brought you to the state is you haven't had joy. You've been very stressed about this change that is upon you now. Fretting it, dreading it, not looking forward to it. And because you have been in this, some of you have been like in a state of depression, but, but since you've been in the state of just feeling down, worried, stressed, it's now got your emotions like really low, really, really low, which is why many of you aren't taking care of yourselves. And a lot of you are emotionally out of balance because of the concerns about finances and money. Now, 
because you know if you got a child going to college you've got to buy all the things for their dorm you've got to get the tuition paid you have to take care of all those things if, if you're relocating you know you need to buy all new draperies all the new things for the new home and if it's going through a divorce same thing expenses of moving home and also divorce and all those things so the concerns of the money is the biggest concern but it has put you in this emotional spin tail spiraling you for the past couple months downward now what the angels are encouraging you to do you have the princess of chalices and this card love at the bottom of the love it says listen to your heart embrace what makes you happy there are one million reasons to love so now this card she is the enamored maiden so obviously this card can talk about romantic love but what it really talks about is also platonic love because she's not with someone remember she's enamored she's romanticizing she's thinking about love but she doesn't have anyone here with her she's by herself she's got these two little doves love will be coming in the future but love isn't with her at this point she's thinking about it daydreaming about it it is on the horizon she's got the two trees she's got the two birds nearby just not there yet but it's about platonic love friendships so they're encouraging you to enjoy your friendships right now enjoy your friends spend time with them enjoy time with your friends they're also encouraging you to enjoy time by yourself enjoy some time in nature because that will help clear your mind for some of you uh, it's going to help you get ground especially if you can put your feet on the ground because for some of you your emotions are so worked up that some of you it's almost like making you like dizzy they're saying like in a spin tail you're you're, you're the thoughts are dizzy and like where they're physically making you sick dizzy so if you put your feet on the ground that will help with those things but they're encouraging you to love yourself do nice things for yourself do the things that make you happy they're encouraging you to accept these changes be at peace with these changes you know you notice the seed is springtime you know springtime is when new things come to life new life begins new opportunities new beginnings they're encouraging you to be at peace because this is the start of a new beginning focus on the positive focus on your joy think positively that's going to raise your vibration that's going to help also in they're saying improvement is going to impact the outcome because if you stay in this state of oh my gosh this is horrible it's going to turn out horrible you're not going to get what's coming to you you are going to impact that because again this is your outcome if you take the angels recommendations the angels are recommending focus on joy happiness focus on things that make you happy so if it's you're going through breakup don't focus on that person that's falling away and leaving don't be trying to you know maybe we can make this out because you know you're looking back nostalgically but just focus on you but for most of you, this is a move. Whatever's bringing about the move, look at how that's a positive, how it's a good thing. If you can change your perspective to something positive, looking at it with a positive, optimistic outlook, you are going to have a very positive outcome. Because your outcome doesn't look pretty, but you've got the Tower card and then you've got this Ace of Pentacles. Now the Tower card, in this deck obviously it's collapse it's, but it's sudden unexpected changes it's drastic so you do have something completely falling away you do old home residence a way of living so for those of you that's a child moving going to college it's a complete change where they are you know you're used to having their them there and they're no longer going to be there but you've got this partner so this change is this change is happening but it's positive change because next to that you have this ace of pentacles which is extremely positive financial luck great financial fortune abundance so if you can shift your perspective positive outlook enjoying life again finding joy in the things that do bring you joy your friends your family your pets the sunshine what's going to happen is you're going to have an unexpected positive change in finances for most of you, you are, you're extremely worried about money. Like, how am I going to pay for this new house? How am I going to be able to take care of the bills on my own? How am I going to be able to pay for the tuition? How am I going to be able to, how am I going to make ends meet and get by? By changing perspective and focusing on things that make you happy now, they're saying you are going to have an unexpected, completely drastic change and turnaround in your finances for the better, a positive change. So your finances will be okay. They're gonna be more than okay. So there's no need to worry. And for those of you that have, you know, you're going to rick up, you are gonna be rebuilt. 
you are going to have an amazing love come in. But the main thing they want you to know is not to worry about money because money is going to be there. Things will drastically change. Again, it does hinge off of your perspective, your outlook. Uh, and for a couple of you, it may only be one or two, there is going to be a drastic change where last minute your child may decide that no, they are not going to college or you know they're not going to college across the country. Instead, they're gonna be staying somewhere local and that'll be the news you find out. So hopefully that helps all of you. You have money, money, positive changes coming in. So hang in there, it is getting better. You will see that in the immediate future. I do wish you all a lot of love, joy, and blessings.